Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Real Estate Q&A with Mark. I am your favorite real estate broker, Mark Lima with the Lima Real Estate Group. And as always, I'm here to provide value to you as your trusted real estate expert. Today's question is, what is a seller lease back and how does it work? Well, a seller lease back comes into play when you have one of two circumstances. One is you need some extra time beyond what the allotted escrow time is to get out. Let's say it's a 30 day escrow and you look at your wife and you say, honey, there's no way in hell we're gonna be out of here before 60 days. Well, then we would negotiate a 30 day lease back where you close the transaction as you would, but you have the right to rent your home back from the new owner for 30 days in this instance, so you can finish moving and get out. You have sold the house, you have the funds in your account, but you're still living in the house. The normal compensation for an agreement like that is uh, whatever the new buyer's holding costs of the property is. So, you know, principal interest, taxes and insurance, let's call that uh, $3,500 for the sake of conversation. You would say, hey, I'm gonna lease my property back for $3,500 a month for the month that I need it after we close. Another reason why I have clients utilizing the seller lease back option is because right now it's a very competitive real estate market. So if you're selling your home and looking to purchase another home, you're dealing with unprecedented level of competition. Writing an offer on a property you like contingent on you selling your home is gonna leave you in a less than desirable situation when you're going against you know, straight vanilla offers that don't have any sort of sale contingency or even a cash offer. So one way to combat that is to sell your home, negotiate a lease back, let's say for three months in this instance, and that gives you three months to shop for a home while staying in your residence, writing a very clean vanilla offer with no contingency of sale on it, and putting you at least toe to toe with other straight vanilla transactions or offers that are finance based. So it gives you the seller peace of mind of knowing that you have a place to live after you close your house while you look for another place. It gives the seller of the property you're writing an offer on peace of mind of knowing that your offer that you're writing to purchase your next home is not dependent on you closing your other property. And another bonus is you also have the closing proceeds from the sale of your house in your bank account. So when you are writing an offer, you are not, uh, not only non-contingent, you also are able to show proof of funds from the proceeds of your last sale, which makes you look even more solid in the eyes of the seller. So those are uh, the two situations, most common situations where seller leasebacks are used. And I hope I at least gave you some insight into what a seller lease back is. Obviously, I can only scratch the surface. So if you need to go into more detail, I'm more than happy to discuss that with you. Just reach out to me. See you next week for another Q&A with Mark. And again, thank you for taking the time to watch my show.